Hi, my name is Rosemary Hernandez. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the laboratory of Dr. Alexander Marson. And um, I received my PhD in microbiology and immunology from the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine, where I was under the mentorship of Dr. Tom Malik. I had been following the Marson lab uh, for a few years and their work in genomic immunology. And I knew that after I finished my PhD, I wanted to integrate my background in immunology and with the genomic tools that were offered by the Marson lab in order to uh, make more effective T-cell therapies. And so the Marson lab gave me this opportunity and I am now fortunate to be part of Gladstone. As I was growing up in Cuba, I had an innate interest in my natural surroundings. I've always been interested in plants. And so um, I never got to explore science in Cuba, um, and I just got introduced to that in the US. My project in the Marston Lab is focused on enhancing T cell therapies for patients with cancer. We know that current adoptive transfers of T cell therapies are efficient in that they can increase patient survival. However, there are still limitations to the anti-tumor responses in that these T cells have decreased proliferative potential, uh, development of memory is low, and they have uh, decreased survival. During my PhD thesis, I worked on enhancing T cell responses to cancer vaccines using a novel interleukin-2 construct. So interleukin-2 is a cytokine that plays a vital role in T cell development. Um, and in general, in T cell biology, it promotes uh, differentiation, uh, functional maturation, survival, and memory development of T cells. The Marson Lab is a leader in genomic immunology and engineering T cells to enhance anti tumor immunity. So, for my project in the Marson Lab, I will combine the rich toolbox that is uh, developed in this lab together with my background in interleukin-2 in order to exploit the interleukin-2 pathways to generate better uh, T-cell therapies for cancer. So my first most meaningful encounter with science was when my grandfather was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and I immediately became interested in the biology of Parkinson's disease and the therapeutic approaches uh, in order to take care of this disease. And so I think this uh, event in my life really sparked my interest in science and led me to take uh, college classes that were science related. I absolutely love my grandma's Cuban dessert recipes, so I hope that in the near future, I'll be able to make some of her arroz con leche, pudin de pan, or buñuelos and share it with my friends and family. We know that the Latinx population is largely underrepresented in the sciences. And for many that are leaving their countries for better job or life opportunities, and for their children that are born in a foreign country, it seems that science careers are usually uh, unattainable. So for me, working in this field means I can give hope to the current and the future Latinx generations and reaffirms that it is possible to pursue a career that might seem unattainable. <laughs>